If you've been following this series, you remember our gas and brake duo, glutamate and GABA, balancing dopamine in this Bermuda Triangle. Well, our nervous system has its own version of that. The autonomic nervous system has two main nerves. The sympathetic nerve, the gas pedal that fires up the stress response, and the parasympathetic, the brake pedal that slows everything down. Each breath switches between the two. Inhale, gas pedal. Exhale, the brakes. That's why every big sigh of relief is literally your parasympathetic nerve clocking in. See this dotted line that runs all the way back up to the watchtower? That's the vagus nerve, the most famous branch of the parasympathetic crew. So when you stimulate your vagus nerve, you're literally stimulating your calm wiring. Now let's see if the brakes still work. Put a hand on your belly and just breathe. If your belly expands on the inhale, great, that's regulated breathing. But if it pulls in on the inhale, that's paradoxical breathing, meaning your body got so used to danger that it literally reversed how your breathing works. Think of how we react when startled. <gasps> that big gasp and tight stomach. Living in trauma made your diaphragm start doing that all the time. Your watchtower may know it's safe, but your body still thinks it's under attack. Great, even my diaphragm's traumatized. But you can teach your body how to breathe calm again. Lie flat on your back for five minutes with two books on your stomach. The pressure forces your belly to expand and contract the correct way. Do that every day for two to three weeks and your body will start breathing correctly on autopilot. No lifelong homework, just muscle memory calm. Finally, a self-help routine that's literally self and help. And don't forget cheap. When the parasympathetic nerve wakes up, the whole body starts believing the watchtower's message. The war is in fact over. Breath deepens, muscles relax, and clarity returns. Tomorrow, we'll head to this war zone known as the HPA axis and get that stress factory to finally power down.